What is up, everybody? It's your boy, Phil Shocker, the Nanny CH Joke here with our delayed Week 2 battle going against one of the two Teds. I'm not going to bother remembering the team name, so I apologize if you feel offended about that. But we are here for our Week 2 matchup, and as you can see, he brought a completely different team. He brought Hitmonlee, Gallo Moltres, and Porygon Z. Actually, no, I said Hitmonlee could come. It was Porygon Z and Gallo Moltres. He brought over Nine Tails and something else. I don't even care. I'm going to lie, you guys, it's been about a day or two since this battle's happened, and uh, you're going to find out why. But you guys can hit the like button if you haven't already. Subscribe to join the Fish Shocker crew today because you'll be really with the king of the crew. So looking at this matchup, my Zapdos has no switch-ins, essentially, on dual stab. My Rotom Heat looks fantastic this matchup. My Regieleki is pretty much solidly good here. My Spirit Tomb is really great as well. And um, I wrote him. Like, like, there's so much on my team that really puts in so much work. So let's go ahead and get started here. As he's going to lead off with that Hitmonlee with the normal gym fake out, which I'm not going to lie. I completely didn't even pay attention to that. So he gets his burden un uneven. All right. Here comes. Okay. We got bulk up here. We're fine. We're good. Here comes a rock slide. Okay. No problem. Oh, oh I got much. Okay. We'll fix that. We'll fix that. We're good. We're still good. All right. Now, here's our... Okay, okay, we're, we're, it's okay, okay. And now, here we're going, we're going to get the K over here. And... People. Three in a row. Three in a row. What are the chances of that happening? Three times in a row. And not only that, he lands every single rock slide, which is 90% accurate. There is a 1 in 10 chance to miss. And this man collected a total of 5 or 6 times. Does not miss. And it's whatever it was I was saying. But now I basically this. I go and go for the he goes for Sigla. I'm gonna go for the nasty plot right here. He U turns here as I nasty plot again. And what I don't understand is why he brought this thing and clicked this. Like he saw it was Charty Berry, so I don't understand why he did that. As I will wisp and burn the guard chop, which is crippled. That is beautiful. In comes Orbeal. I'm gonna click, click X there and BAM! Down goes the Orbeal here. In comes Gallo Moltres. He's going to go for the Ancient Power. Does not get the boost. I land my Overheat and Moltres goes down. Listings are looking really, really good. And I'm dead. In comes my thing here. That did 50%. Let's go for the X's here. I don't know if he was Specs. And if it was Specs, it could have maybe been a roll. But it could have been guaranteed as I didn't have a lot of Spadef investment. But down goes Armalo. He tried his best. X comes my Ectoplasma here as I'm going to click. A uh, good old foul play and knock this Porygon out as he discharges there. In comes the Metagross. Clicks Iron Head. I go for all of us. And, 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 yep. Yeah, he missed. I lose. <laughs> now, I will. This is one th part of the meme that I do agree that I should have just clicked foul play. I should have clicked foul play in this situation because it was the smarter play. Also, the fact he, pr the fact he clicked Earthquake amazed me right there why do you click earthquake when you can click iron head smart play i go on my ectoplasm the iron heads max rolls in comes my norberta i die <laughs> It's fun to get hacks. This has became a meme for two weeks in a row now, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> in all seriousness, um, first off, shout out to that weakness policy set. That's definitely something I would have ran 100%. Um, the Ice Punch, I'm pretty sure, just still would have either brought me down low to where he could have clicked Bullet Punch and stuff like that. So, um, I do regret not clicking Foul Play in front of Metagross. That is the one play I do regret. Because if I clicked Foul Play... I let my um, spirit tomb go down, and then I bring in my um, fly on. The worst that this thing can do to me then is just go for bullet punch, which doesn't really matter. 
I go for Scorching Sands, knock that thing out. I have a Habon Berry, so I can live any one hit from that thing. And if I have to, I can just sack off my Regieleki, as he can just click a Dragon Move. I can get some chip damage with Regieleki, clicking Rapid Spin or something like that. Just getting chip damage off, and then I go into my Dragon. My Dragon lives one hit. I land with Draco Meteor, and it's over. If I miss, then it's extra salt in the wound, unless it's defensive, which means I'm still faster guaranteed. So, another match where I have the game won, but Hacks got involved. Because if I have kept my bird around, my bird pressured so much of his team and would have beaten his team. But no, gotta get flinched. I will agree that the foul play right there should have been the play. The foul play right there should have been the play. Even if it actively weakness policy, you saw how much we did with Scorching Sands, which would have been perfectly fine to go for. So, I want you all to know... I'm okay with losing when I lose to skill and the fact that I overprepped. I did not overprep this match. You guys saw, I had no, I had perfect way, I had a perfect balance around sneaky webs. I had two levitators. I had three levitators. Well, if Defiant, act, if I get activated on Defiant, then I have a Defiant, which doesn't really matter. I only have basically one mod on this team that would have been affected by the sticky webs, and that was Spirit Tomb. I planned around webs perfectly. And my bird could have been so good. Because depending on what he signed in next, my bird was good. But it doesn't matter. Just so you people know, I'm okay if Hacks gets bounced out. But this is two weeks in a row that I lose a game because of hacks. You know, it's you know, it's always it's always the best feeling in the world. Because here's the thing: if I burn his Metagross, I can live any one hit, and I think I had another move I could have hit him with. I think Poltergeist or something like that. I could have hit him with Poltergeist, done so much damage, got my, and then get my in my. Flygon, and Flygon wins the game. <sighs> At this point, it has now become a meme in RGBO. Uh, will that meme continue and basically cost me a chance at playoffs? Who knows? But that's going to be it for me, guys. Like, comment, share, subscribe if you enjoyed my pain and misery. <sighs> but I'm going to go ahead and get out and... Uh... No, 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 but... Like, comment, share, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. I'm Phil Shark and I say, Peace.